What's going on you guys, it's Drum Machine Addicts. We are back again today, and today we're gonna show you how to chop up a drum break. Now, this is a very handy tool to have when you're making your own beats, and say you listen to an old vinyl record, and you find a break that you really like. You can sample that into the MPC software, and then you can chop it up to make your own patterns out of the drums from those old records. Pretty cool, right? All right, so let's begin. I pulled up something from the MPC Legacy content that comes with MPC software, and the drum break that we have sounds a lot like this. All right, I hope you guys can hear that. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna chop this up because I really like the kick drums, I like the snares, and I like the hi-hats individually. So I wanna be able to reconstruct those in a way that really fits with my song, all right? So there are a couple of different ways that we could do this, but the way we're going to do it today is using the threshold. Now, the other two ways are by BPM, depending on how many beats per minute is uh, actually in the drum loop. MPC can calculate and make slices based off that, or you can do it by the regions where you can set the amount of slices you want. Doing it by threshold is useful, though, in letting the software detect the transients and then taking it from there and reconstructing your slices that way. So let's go down to our chop section and we're going to do threshold. Now notice what the software has done right here. There are different transients at different points. They're not necessarily evenly distributed, but if we were to hit each one, So you see the way they did it with the transients, I have the hi-hats on one slice, I may have a snare on one slice, and I have a kick drum on one slice. So now at this point, I can take my slices, convert them to a new program, and then I can record a new idea. So if you're looking at what we have up here already, I already made a couple of events, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the next track and I'm gonna show you guys again. So notice I have all the sounds loaded up in different ways. So I'm just gonna make a really whack drum pattern to show you what it can do. So yeah, that was pretty terrible, but you get the message, right? So if we go back to our sample edit page, you see everything still chopped up because we use non-destructive chop. But basically, I reconstructed this whole thing and made my own pattern out of it the way I wanted to and the way I saw fit. And that is how you chop up a drum break. Feel free to play around with it. Once again, this is Drum Machine Addicts. Don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend. Please subscribe so we can keep giving you content. We'll be back with another episode soon. Peace.